Hey everybody, happy Saturday, welcome to my channel, my name is Lynn, and in today's video I am going to be doing my first eyeshadow palette declutter, want to see what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of, stick around. This could be good for me, lately I was feeling like I need a purpose, but when you talk to me, that I won't scratch your surface Hello everybody, welcome back. Like I said, hi, my name is Lynn and this is Lynn's Wonderful World of Makeup and More. Um, for those of you that are new here, welcome on this channel. I generally do things like unboxings, tutorials, get ready with me, try-ons, first impressions, collabs, um... Challenges, hauls, empties, pretty much anything that has to do with makeup and fun, I like to do on my channel. So if you are new here, if you wouldn't mind jumping over, hitting that subscribe button. Also make sure you turn on your notification bell, that way you get notified each and every time I upload some new content. For those of you that have come back to join me, thank you. You guys have made my world such a beautiful place and I am so happy that um, I have each and every one of you in my life. I cannot believe what a difference you guys have made um, in this past, I don't know, nine, ten months that I've been doing this. Um, but uh, as you can see from the title of my video, in today's video, I am going to be decluttering my um, eyeshadow palette collection. Uh, this actually is not the first time I got rid of some. A while back, I got rid of a few, um, and I gave them to my bestie, um, but I did not film it. Um, this is going to be my first really declutter, declutter. Um, I don't have like a million palettes like everybody else. I think I might only have like 30 some, but we're going to run through them quickly, and I'm going to tell you which ones I'm keeping and which ones I am uh, getting rid of. And just so you know, I'm not throwing them away. Um, if they are decent and in good shape, I do have a home that they are going to go to, so they are going to be passed on to somebody that will hopefully love them just as much as I have. Um, so, um, I'm just going to pick them up, and I have no specific order, I like have them all just laying out in front of me, so I'm just going to pick them up as I go along. Um, the very first palette that I'm picking up is my Anastasia, uh, Riviera palette. You guys know what that one looks like. Um, this one is beautiful. This is my very first ABH palette, and I love the color story. I love the bright colors, so that one is definitely going to be one that I am keeping in my collection. Um, the next one that I'm grabbing is my, uh, Violet Voss O Snap palette. For those of you that have been following me, you all know that I just got this palette, uh, Maybe like a week, two weeks ago. So obviously this is going to be one that I am keeping. Um, I love Violet Voss. And I really want to try to get um, more of her fun size um, palettes. Um, they're really great, in my opinion, for traveling. And I think she has really great palettes. Uh, the next one that I'm picking up is my Urban Decayed Wired Palette. For those of you that have been with me for a while, you guys know I was like super duper excited when I got this palette. But if you look at it, you can see, I think I only used it once or twice. Um, I don't know why. Um, it just wasn't something that I gravitated towards once I had it. But I'm on the fence. I'm not sure if I want to give this palette up yet, just because some of the colors in it are so bright. And I don't have... Some of the colors I don't have in any of my other palettes. So, for right now, for right now, I'm going to s decide to hold on to this one for a moment. Uh, the next one that I'm pulling out is my Too Faced uh, Chocolate Bar Palette. Guys, the smell of this palette just makes my day. Um, I got this not too long ago. Uh, I found it at Marshall's. I know this is an older palette, but I have not had it that long, and I absolutely love it. I've used it, you can't really tell, but I have used it quite a few times. 
I love it when I want to do a neutral look, but I, there's also a few shades in there that you can add a pop of color if you want to. So that one is definitely staying in my keeper pile. Um, I'm grabbing my Juvia's Place, uh, the Violet's palette. This is another one that I just recently got. And even if I didn't, I would keep it. It is my very first Juvia's Place palette. And I absolutely love purples. That has been my thing lately. Um, but this is definitely, definitely a keeper. Um, this one is Revolution Makeup. This is the Intensely Pigmented, pigmented Foil Shadow Palette. I originally bought this. I was supposed to give it to somebody, and I don't remember why I didn't, but this is a completely foil palette, which means you have to use it with another palette, and I'm not one of those people that tend to reach for more than one palette at a time, so um, this is going to be one that I definitely um, pass on. Okay, guys, I had... Uh, um, I thought I had, okay, maybe I didn't. That would be the first one that I said I was going to pass on. Sorry, guys. The next one I'm reaching for is my Ciate London. This is the New England, the Editor's Palette. I just love that, um, packaging. This is what that one looks like. Um, I think I've only used this once or twice and i was on the fence about that one too but for some reason something is telling me that i want to keep that palette um the next one that i'm picking up is the beauty bakery breakfast in bed we all know what this one looks like we got it not too long ago in boxy i did a look with it it's okay it's nothing that i was super impressed with so that is going to be another one that I am definitely going to pass along. Uh, let's see, I have my ColourPop, all that palette. Another one that I just recently got. I have not even gotten a chance to try it out yet. I can't wait to use this for Valentine's Day. But um, I pretty much know that I love enjoy ColourPop, and I would like to start getting more of their palettes in my collection, so that's definitely going to be um, a keeper. I have my Lime Crime, uh, Venus, Venus Excess uh, palette, the Sun-Kissed one. Um, this one was gifted to me before I started my channel. This was one of the palettes that um, Annette's Makeup Corner gave me when she sent me my box. I absolutely love this palette. Um, it's small uh, look and... Um, it's a little pop of color and a little neutral. It's just, I love it. So that's definitely going to stay in my collection. Um, I have the Morphe Times Manny MUA palette. You guys know we got this earlier this year in BoxyCharm. And as you can see, I think I only used it when I did my first impression. Um, I just am not impressed with this palette. Um, I don't have a lot of Morphe palettes. I think I may only have one other one, maybe two, but this is definitely going to be one that is going to be passed on. Um, the only thing is, is the mirror got a little crack in it, but, um, I talked to the person that I was, that I was going to be passing them on to you, and I told her that the palette is perfectly fine except for the little crack in the mirror, and she said she didn't mind, so she will be getting that one as well. Um, I have my Violet Voss, um, the Coral Pops palette. Uh, like I said, I absolutely love Violet Voss. These little palettes are great for me um, when I'm traveling or going out during the day to put in my little makeup bag when I want to do touch-ups, so that is a keeper. Uh, I have my Beauty Creations Boho Bay Palette. I got this one earlier this year when I got, uh, when I did the Ice Cream Beauty Box subscription for one month. Um, it's a very pretty palette. Um, very colorful, but it's just not something that I gravitated towards. I don't think I, if I did use it, it might have been only to do a look for you guys to give you an impression on what I got in that box. I think that's what I did. So that is definitely going to be one that 
I am passing along. We have my uh, Violet Voss Essentials 2 palette. You guys know we got this in Boxy earlier this year, and everybody wanted this palette. Some people got it, some people didn't. I was lucky enough to get two, and I was able to pass one on to my beautiful friend Zena because she did not get it. We ended up swapping. She gave me the Teddy Boy palette, and um, I gave her my extra Violet Voss palette, but this one is absolutely staying in my collection. Um, this is the Ace Beauté Scarlet Dusk palette. Another BoxyCharm palette from this year. Um, I haven't really used this very often, but there's something that's telling me that I want to keep it. There's something about these pinks that just tell me that I really want to keep this palette in my collection. So that one is going to stay for now. Um, then I'm picking up my Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette. This one was also gifted to me. From a Nets Makeup Corner before I started my channel. Um, I absolutely love this palette. Uh, most of you already know that I got one at Christmas in my friend mail from Denisha. And once she found out that I had it, I did a giveaway with it. I announced the winner yesterday in my giveaway announcement video. By the way, everyone that participated in that giveaway, the person that won still has not contacted me. So, um, you need to contact me by Monday, uh, at, uh, by, by 11.59 p.m. on Monday night. I gave you an extra day because of Christmas. Um, the winner was Pam, uh, over 50 beauty and lifestyle. If she has not contacted me by Monday night, Tuesday, Tuesday morning, I will be, um, announcing a new winner. So, everybody still stay tuned because you may still have a chance. Um, the next palette that I'm picking up is my Tarte Tarty is Pro palette. I absolutely love this palette. I love Tarte. Tarte is one of my favorite brands, and I love the way this palette is set up. It's basically set up that you can just go across the row and do a look if you want to, or you can mix it up. But this is definitely going to be something I keep in my collection. Um, this is the Venus Fling Barely Sarian Times Estate Palette. Um, when I signed back up for Ipsy earlier, a few months ago, um, they had a thing where if you got someone else to sign up, you got 1,800 points, and this was a palette that they had at the time that you could get the, with the points. And so that's what I did, and I got this palette, and I love it, so it is staying in my collection. Um, these are just two little palettes that I got in a makeup kit that had um, all kinds of stuff in it. Um, it's just a little face palette and a little eye palette. I never opened them. I never touched them. I'm going to pass them along, too. Um, this would be... This doesn't... I don't even have to speak on this one. You guys are already going to know. This is my De Natasha Denona Peak palette. You all know that I lost my first one when I lost my bag full of makeup. And uh, Miss Busy Beauty really pulled it off and got me a second one. This is one of my favorite palettes of all times. This is definitely staying in my collection. Um, I have the Milani Gilded Rouge Palette. This is another one that I just recently got when I opened up my box from Busy Beauty. It is absolutely gorgeous. I have not had a chance to play with it yet, but I love Milani. Uh, she's very, very affordable. You can get her at the drugstore. She is, I consider her to be the high end of the drugstore, um, makeup. But I love Milani. Every product I have used from her, from lipsticks to makeup, I mean, from lipsticks to eyeshadow palettes to foundation to powder, I've loved everything. And it's very affordable. Uh, speaking of Milani, I also have the Milani Gilded Jade Palette. Um, this one will also be staying in my collection. She has several palettes in the Gilded Collection. I would like to get some more of them if I could. I really, really do love Milani, and she's very affordable. 
Um, the next one that I'm going to pick up is my um, Pretty Rich Too Faced palette. Um, you guys know I also found this one at Marshalls, and I love this palette. I love the Pretty Rich collection. You guys know the lip glosses are some of my all-time favorites, so I will be keeping that one. Um, let's see. Um, I have the Flutter By palette by ColourPop. This was my very first ColourPop palette. I got this from Busy Beauty. That one will be staying in my collection. It is purples, but I consider that to be a more neutral purple palette when you still want to have some color, but it needs to be toned down. Um, I have my... Jeffree Star Mini Jawbreaker Palette, and even though I completely lost this eyeshadow, this is uh, one of my very first palettes where I was really getting into color, and it's one of my favorites. Um, I would really love to have the full-size Jawbreaker Palette cross my fingers. One day that will happen. This is the Laura Sanchez Moods Palette. For those of you that follow me, you guys know this is my absolute favorite palette from that I got this year. As you can see, I have used it several, several, several times. I absolutely love and adore this palette. Um, uh, let me see. So I have the Peachy Queen Kush Queen Palette. Another one of my all-time favorites, I used this in my throwback video the other day that I did, um, that was hosted by Karen and MUA. I love, love, love this palette. This palette is one of my favorite palettes of all times, and it really made me, um, want to get some more Peachy Queen products. Uh, this is the Beauty Bakery Proof is in the Pudding palette. I had this palette for a very long time before I used it, and actually it was not too long ago that I used it in a look, but for a neutral palette, it is very pretty, and I love it, so that one will be staying. I have my Doe Color, the Neon palette. As you guys can see, I've used this palette quite frequently too, and the colors the, the first two rows right here i absolutely love those neon colors so that will definitely be staying in my collection i have the uh spoiled lips cosmetics volume 15 the baby fox i love that packaging that is so cute this again is one of the ones that i just recently got from busy beauty i have not had a chance to play with her yet so she will be staying in my collection for now. Um, this is my Urban Decay. You guys saw this. My little gift set that I got with the Urban Decay Mini Stone Vibes palettes. This is one of my favorite palettes ever. I so want to get the uh, full-sized Stone Vibes palette. Um, I'm hoping to either order it off the Urban Decay website or... Maybe Steph might have it one way or another. I will be getting that palette. This is the OPV Beauty Spotlight Palette. Another one that I just recently got and have not had a chance to play with yet. So that one will definitely be staying for now as well. Um, this is the Revolution Makeup Roxy Roxasaurus Palette. Um, I bought this at Marshall's. It was like four bucks or five bucks something like that and then I got it home and I didn't really play with it but because the bottom of this bottom row right here is like pastel colors and I don't have any palettes that have pastel colors in them right now like that I am keeping this for now I'm not very impressed with the formula but I don't have any pastel colors right now so I am keeping that uh, this is my BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. You guys know I was, like, tripping when I got this one. It looks like the planets, and then I didn't use it for a long time. And a couple months ago, I did a few looks with it, and I do love this palette. This is my first BH Cosmetics Palette, and I love it. Um, this is the Peachy Queen Pumpkin Spice Palette. You guys know I just recently got this in a lot from Busy Beauty 2. Um, I did do some looks with it. 
I have to be honest with you guys, I am not impressed at all with this palette. The formula was okay, but the shimmer to matte ratio was not impressive to me, and the fact that they did not have any light shimmers, um, not to mention the color scheme is not really my cup of tea, so I am really on the fence with what to do with this one. This one may get passed on. I don't want to make any promises yet, though, so we're going to see. Um, this is my Jeffree Star Alien palette. You guys that watch me know this is the palette that got it all started. So even if I never used it again, I doubt I will ever get rid of this palette. First off, it's been discontinued. And second off, it has a lot of sentimental value behind it. Um, this is the Look Pro Hard Candy palette. I won this in a giveaway from Mary Makeup and more too. Um, I've never had a hard candy palette before, but I've used this a couple of times, and I'm actually really impressed with the formula. Um, we're getting down to the end, guys. This is my iconic London Day to Slay palette. This came out in Boxy earlier this year, but I did not get mine from Boxy. I won mine in a giveaway from Yachty G, um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It, as you can see, it is one of the palettes that I have really, really used a lot this year. Um, so I will be keeping that one as well. Then I have these two little mini palettes. This is the Look Pro Rose Gold palette from Hard Candy. Um, I won this in the giveaway from Mary as well. I have not used that one yet. And then I have the Tarte. Tartlet Flirt Palette. Um, it's just a little six pan palette. As much as I love Tarte, um, it is a little six pan palette. And I, I have these shades already in some the other Tarte palette that I have. So I will be, because I've had it for forever. And as you guys can see, you can still see, I haven't, I think I might have swatched it. Um, but I never used it. So I'm going to pass that one along. Um, and then, last but certainly not least, is my Morphe times Jeffree Star palette. Um, this was gifted to me in my very first friend mailbox from my beautiful friend Naomi King. As you guys can see, it is so beautiful and has a wide variety of colors. I love this color story. I love this palette. And this will definitely be staying in my collection. I know I said I was really keeping quite a few, but considering that I don't have a hundreds and hundreds of palettes. Um, so basically, let's see. I am the two mini palettes that I got in my thing from Beauty Concepts. My Tarte uh, Flirt Tartlet palette. My Boho Babe by Beauty Creations, uh, my Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed palette, my Revolution um, Intensely Pigmented Foil Shadow palette, and my Morphe Times Manny MUA palette are definitely going to be decluttered. Um, all the rest of them I know I'm keeping, and I am on the fence about my Peachy Queens, Pumpkin Spice, and my Urban Decay Live Wired. I'm not sure about those two yet. Um, and since I don't have a lot of face palettes, I had gone through those as well. And she will also be getting my Brow Bar, uh, my Rima Brow Bar face palette that we got a while back in BoxyCharm. As you can see, I think I swatched it when it first came out. But I did not use it. The shades just aren't for me. The ones that are in there are too dark for my skin tone. And I have other stuff that I like. So um, that is pretty much uh, what I'm going to get rid of. I do have another palette. I have the um, Jeffree Star Mini Controversy palette that I won from my friend, my beautiful friend Adventures with Xena. I'm not sure where it's sitting at right now for some reason, but I will be keeping that one as well. Um... But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, this is the day after Christmas. Um, I'm going to try to keep posting for the rest of this week to stay up with my usual 
um, videos for my show support Sunday tomorrow. I will definitely do, and I will definitely attempt to do my Monday morning masks. But uh, for many of you that do not know, um, Christmas was already hard for me. It was my first Christmas without my grandmother, and I woke up tomorrow. I woke up yesterday to find out that I lost another person that I love very, very much. Um, she pretty much has been my second mom for about the last 20, 25 years. Um, her and Pop taught me what it means to friendship, love, loyalty, family. They, they taught me all that. They taught me how to be the person I am and how to follow my heart. And, um... I love her very much, and I'm going to miss her very, very much. I'm trying to get through this the best I can. Um, so if I don't comment back right away this week, or I'm a little short on my video goes, you guys, please excuse me. Um, I'm trying to process all this and find a way to um, get down back home so that I can be there when we say goodbye. Um, but um, that's all I have for you guys today. Sorry about that. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I promise you, you won't regret it. I have a lot of great new content coming out in this new year. For those of you that have stuck with me this far, thank you. It is you guys that really got me through all this. Um, your love and support means more to me than you could ever, ever know. Uh, please rate this video. If you like these kind of videos where I do declutterings, um, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you don't like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs down. It's cool. I value your opinion either way, but I tell you all the time, I value your opinion and I take it into consideration when I'm, when I'm figuring out what videos I will be posting for you all to watch. I obviously do not want to post, um, videos that you all are not interested in. This channel is just as much about you as it is about me, but I do not know your opinion if you don't leave it in the comments. I don't know what you're thinking. I can't read your minds. So, um, that's all I have until next time. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. If nobody else told you, I'm going to tell you you are loved and you are special. And love and hugs. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This could be good for me. Lately I was feeling like I...